Hey, what's going on guys? It's TrekYT here, or Nick, and I bring you guys a brand new video, and this is about my 1,000 subscriber special. I want to thank you guys all a ton for this 1,000 subscriber milestone. This is the first huge milestone for anybody that's doing YouTube, and it feels great to finally hit my first huge milestone. Without you guys, I couldn't do any of this, and none of this would be possible, and I would never be able to grow to this 1,000 subscriber milestone, and I can't wait for one day where I can hit more milestones and just keep growing and growing and growing my first huge major milestone that i want to hit is 1000 subs 100,000 subscribers i want that minecraft or that youtube plaque to be on my wall right in front of me as i'm recording every single video that'll be my most like valuable like i don't know like possession or something because i'll that'll be like just a, like it represents what i have accomplished and what we have accomplished together I just want to let you guys know that all of you guys that have been here from about around 1,000 subscribers or below, you guys are the real MVPs, you guys are the real people that are true fans as of right now because me and like personally, I don't really subscribe to too many small channels and I think that those people that start off subscribing to those small channels that grow into huge channels are the real people that like build those channels, they're the real found like foundation for those channels and i thank you guys for being my foundation for my youtube channel without further ado guys let's jump right into this q a so our first question is coming in from michael and he asked how did you get the name trek so i got the name trek from i was uh this is back when i played call of duty a lot i was trying to figure out a name that was short enough so i could like play call of duty and do snipe and stuff so my name wouldn't like if i were to kill somebody it wouldn't double up on the kill feed so i could still get those cool kill feeds or whatever because that was back when i played call of duty a lot so i had to think of a short name and that day that i decided to make that account for call of duty was the day that i watched the newest star trek movies so i was like oh that's still in my mind so that's how i came up with that name and it's kind of just stuck i've never really thought to change it and it's kind of like i have to stick with it now i guess so on to the next question first question is how how, how long have you been on YouTube? I've been on YouTube since I believe 2010. That was when I posted, I think, my first video. It is on a public channel, or it's on a different channel. It's private. No one will see it. Maybe one day I'll let you guys see it, but right now, no one will see that. Second question What's the name of the build team you're on? It's uh, just PvP. I'm not really kind of on kind of on the build team, but I'm not at the same time. Next question is, uh, how, who else is on the build team? Person that's else kind of on the build team is Tish. We don't really build on that build team anymore. We kind of just don't do it anymore. I still kind of help out that server. I might do a build for them, but the only way I'll do a build for them is if I can turn it into a video for you guys. How long have you been doing building as your main YouTube content? I've only been doing my build content since I think july so whatever go look at the last for the first video on this channel and that'll tell you how long i've been doing it. i think it's july i'm not really sure if you were given to do youtube for a full-time job would i do it i would definitely do it as a full-time job right now i work a job that i'm not overly fond of so i kind of just have to deal with it it's money's money i mean i'm not really sure what i want to do with my life i'm kind of debating on going to college or not college 90 percent of the things that you have to do nowadays you have to go to college for what well, i'm pretty sure that's like a stat or something like that but i'm pretty sure that's what we have to do i don't really know what i want to go to college for so i'm not going to just pick something at random because i don't want to do something and turn out that i don't want to like i don't like it and i don't want to spend all that money trying to like decide what i want to do i want to either decide to do it and go and do it or just don't do anything at all what's your backup job if you were not going to do youtube um I was thinking maybe like finance or something. I'm pretty good at math and I like the idea of money, so maybe put two and one and two together. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And those questions were from uh, Cameron. Next question is coming from Jack. Do I have any siblings? Yes, I have a sister and I have a brother. Next question is from uh, Ellie. What made you start playing Minecraft and then what inspired you to do it on YouTube? I started playing Minecraft, uh, I think it was an Xbox. I had a bunch of friends that were playing it. I was kind of like, I want to play this too. Like, I wanted to be able to play the games that they're playing. So I would just, I got the game and that's what kind of like inspired me to do Minecraft. What inspired me to do YouTube? I mean, I've always been watching YouTube videos. So I've always wanted to just maybe put out my own and get that kind of fan base that like all these big people that I'm watching. I would love to be able to have that interaction with fans that they have all the time. Next question, what's your favorite YouTuber from that guy? I cannot narrow it down right now. I'm really like digging like everybody from How to Minecraft uh, season three. So all those people I'm really enjoying. Like I, I really enjoy Preston's videos right now. Preston plays. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that I watch, so I can't really narrow it down. 
I mean, I like Nord and Shat too. Like, I, there's a lot of people out there that their personalities are all different, and I enjoy all of them in their own way. So, there's a lot of different YouTubers out there, and that's what the great thing about YouTube is you can watch more than one person. And it's kind of like its own, it's literally its own entertainment in its own. Like, it's it's my TV. For, for me, it's like watching TV as I watch YouTube videos. Next question from Gabriel Do your parents know about your YouTube channel? Do your friends at school know? And if they don't, how are you going to tell them? Uh, everyone really kind of knows about my YouTube channel. I'm so proud of it, so I really love to share it with everybody and everybody. My parents know, but they don't really- I don't think any of my parents- I don't think either of my parents have watched any of my videos. There's people at school that have seen my videos. There's even like a teacher or two at school that knows about them, but I don't think has watched my videos. That'd be kind of awkward if they- like, I understand- like, I like- the idea of people watching my videos, but I don't like listening to myself talk. It just, it's just kind of cringy to me. Next question, who slash how were you introduced to building? Um, I was introduced to building, I kind of, I didn't kind of introduce myself. I always liked to be better than my friends, so I was always looking to build better than them, and it always would amaze them how I was better than them. I wasn't always as good as I am now. I mean, I've started practice and just got better and better and better. How long did it take you to become a professional at building? I wouldn't call myself a professional, I just kind of do it as a hobby because that's my favorite thing to do in Minecraft, so I don't know if I'd call myself a professional, but I've been doing building ever since I started playing Minecraft, which I don't even, I don't know when it was that I started playing Minecraft, but it was back right after, like a month or two after Xbox Minecraft dropped on the Xbox. Would you ever consider joining a team or a server team? I mean, I don't really like building for people. I mean, I like building for people, but if it's a build I want to do, like, I don't want someone to be like, hey, go build a castle, have it done by now. I don't like that. It puts stress on me, and I don't want to build something I don't, like, want to. Like, I'm not going to do something I don't want to do. So, I mean, I'm not really on a team right now. I mean, kind of, I'm, I'm on a build team, but I really just do builds that I want to do. What is your favorite subject? I'm assuming this is school. This is coming from soccer. Um... My favorite subject is math because I'm just really good at it. Next question, do you play any sports? If so, what sport? I play lacrosse, but I don't think I'm going to play this year just because I didn't really enjoy myself last year. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not the best out there, so I don't really enjoy it. What do I use to edit my videos? I use Sony Vegas Pro 12. Can I do a giveaway? No, I'm not going to do a giveaway right now. I don't have anything to give away, so... <laughs> and I don't really... I don't know. I don't really feel like... I feel like giveaway is... is is a way more than just a giveaway. I don't think a giveaway is more just to give back. I feel like a giveaway attracts people to your channel, so I feel like it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a sellout kind of thing to do, so I don't really want to do a giveaway right now. I may do a giveaway like way in the future when I'm like trying to repay you guys for what you guys have done to me, but right now I'm probably not going to do a giveaway anytime soon. Will I ever do a face reveal or have I been considering one? I will someday do a face reveal. I'm not like in, like insecure about people look, knowing what I look like, but I like that idea of people not knowing what I look like. I think it's kind of cool, and I feel like it would build hype for like a cool like milestone video, so you guys can finally see what I look like. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me, but I'm not gonna do anyone anytime soon. Coming in from colorful llamas, waffles or pancakes? Definitely waffles. I love myself some homemade waffles. Throw some chocolate chips in there. Mm -mm -mm. In real maple syrup. Not that fake stuff. Real maple syrup all the way. Coming in from Hugh, it says he says congrats. Thanks, man. Thanks for the congratulations. Uh, did you think you would get here so fast? Honestly, I was not expecting to get here so fast. I uploaded that first video of Forest of Comets for Camping Rusher just because I enjoyed his content so much. I wanted to be like involved with it and. The amount of support that just like started off my channel from there, I was not expecting that. I really wasn't expecting to hit 1,000 subscribers by now. Like I was projected to hit it by sometime in January of next year, so I don't know. You guys are just amazing. You guys, I'm still such a small channel, and I it, just the growth that's happened so far, so fast, so f like so quickly. I'm just. I'm blown away and thank you guys so much. What inspired me to do YouTube? I'm pretty sure I've already answered a question like this. I just enjoy watching people do YouTube, so I decided just to try it out myself. And so far, it's working very successfully. Who introduced you to Minecraft? Nobody really introduced me except for like those couple friends out there. I would just shout out to Gianni Michael and I, uh, I don't know who else. <laughs> Gianni Michael and there's a couple other people that forgot their names, but you know, shout out to you guys. I don't think you guys watch my videos, but someday maybe I'll reconnect with you guys. Next question coming in from Christian. How long have you been building and how did you learn? Building is not something you really learn. You kind of just got to practice makes perfect. So I mean, you're kind of learning, but you really just got to do different things. And it's, just, it, it's really like I taught myself is what I'm trying to say. And how long have I been doing it? Ever since I started Minecraft, which is some whenever Minecraft for Xbox dropped is when I started doing it. 
Favorite sport and team, my favorite sport to watch is hockey and my favorite sports team to watch is uh, the Boston Bruins. Next question, will I ever do a survival let's play? I may do a survival let's play, but I don't know if I'm not, I'm definitely know I'm not gonna do the typical survival let's play unless it's on like an SMP with a group of cool people because I don't believe like I don't want to do things that other people are already currently doing because that's not a way to grow on YouTube you got to be original so if I do one it's gonna be way different than other people's it's probably not necessarily gonna be with mods because I'm not really a big fan of modded Minecraft but it will definitely be in some way different than other people if I ever do do one will you love me no well I love everybody I say it every video have you ever gotten a fight at school or just outside um, I've never really gotten in a fight, like verbal or physical. I mean, I guess in fifth grade I was considered I punched somebody, but I kind of just flailed my arms because he was grabbing me. So I don't call that a fight. I don't really, I'm not a physical or an aggressive person. So I've never really gotten in a school fight or a fight in general. Do I think oh, I will get 100,000 subscribers in the next two years? I really hope that I hit it by the end of 2016. That is my goal. That's what I'm striving for. I'm gonna work really hard at it. Hopefully I can be successful. There's a lot of YouTubers that when they put their mind to it, they can grow super, super fast. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do in the 2016. I'm gonna try to just pump out so many great videos that everyone can just enjoy so well. So hopefully I will hit 100K by the end of 2016. So that's a year away. So answer to that question is hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure I will. Like I, I think I can do it. What's the worst thing I've ever done? Honestly, I have no idea. Um, I I typically don't do too many terrible things. I don't know what you consider bad, so I have no idea. What pushed you to continue doing YouTube even when you thought no one would get there? I've been doing YouTube for a while, like I've been doing on different channels on and off. Those were never successful, but when I came to the Minecraft like PC community and started like watching videos and playing often and then decided to do YouTube, it was an instant success, so I really... I think it's just doing like trying different things. I mean, I've always liked YouTube, so I've never really was discouraged too much. So, you know, I'm not, I wasn't expecting to just shoot up in subscribers when I started YouTube. You know, everybody's got to start somewhere, and this is my start. Most embarrassing story from school? Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, every, like, I mean, there was one time when I got in trouble and I started crying. I th no, that's not the most embarrassing. One time I was in sixth grade and I left my ski pants on the bus, which I was gonna be able to get at the very end of the day. And I started bawling like a little girl and like sixth grade is, middle school is like the most awkward time. So I guess crying in front of a bunch of people is kind of awkward, especially in like middle school when that's like, you're kind of discovering yourself. So that was pretty awkward. I mean, that's probably not the most embarrassing thing, but that's like one thing I can think of right now, which uh, was very embarrassing to me. Did you have any fears when you started YouTube and do you think there are any pros or cons of as of now? Um, fears, I wasn't really scared of doing YouTube, but it's, I've definitely gotten a lot more confident from doing YouTube. Confidence is key when you're doing YouTube, so I guess I was a little scared, kind of not really feared, I was just a little scared. Is there any pros and cons as of right now? There's a million pros I can think of, and there's not really too many cons. YouTube is always a positive thing if you keep it that way, so right now it's all positive, and most of it is all coming from you guys. Uh, what are my thoughts on 1.9? I've only tr made one video on it and only played it one time, and I guess... What I think about it right now is I love the idea of adding new blocks to the game and I think that every update they should do They should add some sort of new building block because that's what I enjoy doing in Minecraft So the more building blocks the cooler it is I don't really like the idea of the dual wielding because I feel like that's not really Minecraft like I feel like that's really changing Minecraft as a whole and I think that changing the PvP aspect of Minecraft is gonna be a huge change And I don't know how well people are gonna enjoy it because the people that are good at PvP right now may not be good at pvp once the pvp update comes out because they're changing down like the speed at which you at which you can hit so i don't know if they're really gonna i don't know if that'll go down well as of right now that's all the questions that i got i hope you guys did enjoy this 1k video there will definitely be q a's in the future so look forward to those i will definitely announce when i'm going to do those on twitter and in a video so Go ahead, follow my Twitter too, because guys, I post video or I post pictures of potential builds that I will not show on here until they are completely done. So if you guys want to see behind the scenes things, go follow my Twitter. It'll be in the top of the description of this video. I just want to thank you guys again for 1,000 subscribers. We got here super duper fast, even with my two month like 
hiatus that I wasn't expecting. So thank you guys so much for bringing me to this place in my life right now. That it's, I'm just super happy every time I look at my YouTube channel and see all the crazy support on my YouTube videos. As always, guys, I love you all. See you guys later. Peace out.